there's a high likelihood that you've seen Ian Hubert's tutorial on neon signs. Within that tutorial, he explains how you can make the lights just come a little bit more alive with a little bit of noise. And while that's a fantastic tutorial, I wanted to show you some other things that you can do to build on top of that. So first things first, the scene, nothing special. I just got a cube, a monkey, and just a little light up here. This is an area light. It doesn't matter what light you use. But what we're gonna to do to begin with is we're gonna keyframe the power. So what we wanna do is open up the graph editor. Now we can see here, this is the power of the light. So what we can do to begin with is we can add in a noise modifier. We wanna really change this to add. Next thing we need to do is we can add in a limits modifier. Now this limits modifier, this is going to dictate the minimum and maximum light value that we're gonna use. So we only want to do this on the Y axis. So we're going to say for the Y, I actually don't want it to go fully dark. I'm going to say maybe five and the maximum Y we can say maybe a hundred. So that's the maximum minimum light value this can go to. So when we come back up to the noise modifier, what we can do is we can increase the strength. We can say 500, for example. Now, as you can see here, this seems to be capped at 100 and this is because of the limits modifier if we disable the limits modifier you can see what you would expect from a noise modifier and what we can do is we can actually grab the keyframe for the power on the y-axis and move it down and when we normalize it we can see that it's crushed between these two limits here so now when we play the animation we've got a nice flicker going on so let me show you how you can edit it to make it your own so the first thing is the scale. If we increase the scale to something like five, for example, this will mean that the on duration and the off duration is longer. I personally like to keep it at about two. It gives us a good frequency. Now, if you want it so that it is on longer than it's off, you just need to grab the keyframe on the Y axis and move it up here. So you'll see that the majority of the time it'll be on with going off infrequently and the same is true for the inverse if you want it to be off longer than it's on grab it on the y-axis pull it right down like this and it'll be off longer than it is on now there's one other thing that i do like to add it's a steps interpolation modifier this makes it more of a digital on off rather than an analog so it reduces the fade between on and off so if we were to increase the scale for example to five again or even worse, let's say if we say 10 and we turn the steps interpolation off, you notice how the light gradually fades in and out. So if we turn the steps interpolation on and maybe increase the size, we get more of a flickering effect. Now the settings I like are step size of two and scale of two. And that gives us a nice glitchy light effect. Now, I hope you found this useful. If you have, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more tips like this.